Welcome again to Xtrax and this video clip. My name is Hannes Schweiger from Ionium Research in Austria. Um, before we come to our last interview partner with uh, the project coordinator ETRA in Spain, it's a pleasure to welcome today the last remaining partner of this Horizon 2020 project. Um, right now I'm connected with Blueprint. Blueprint is an Austrian engineering and ICT services company. And on behalf of the project team, it's an honor to talk to Elena Boskov Kovac, the managing director of Blueprint Austria. Good morning, Elena. Nice to meet you and thanks for your time. Good morning. It's very nice to be here. Uh, well, Elena, after this short introduction, can you say a little bit more about yourself and the company Blueprint? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, you already gave us a great introduction. Blueprint is an Austrian-based, we say, think tank uh, working with energy companies across Europe. And as engineering and IT services provider, what we do is we help our clients develop innovative strategies and we select the best solutions for their digital transformation journey. And finally, we help them implement them. What is Blueprint's specific role in the project and in which tasks and work are you involved? Well, what we do in our everyday work uh, for mainly system operators or utilities is that we design digitalization blueprint by combining their large infrastructure projects with innovative pilots that accelerate their energy transition goals or strategy and that increase benefits from digitalization. Specifically, in this project, in the beginning, uh, our role was to help prepare demonstration sites for implementation of the four complementary XFLEX solutions. And in order to build and validate this ambitious toolkit uh, that was made for a whole portfolio of different users, in the beginning, we conducted in-depth analysis and we mapped the planned scenarios and different use cases to the local situation in every specific country. What we did was we took into account techno-economic constraints, specific market conditions, and we ensured that the project could succeed based on uh, actual available infrastructure data sources and the teams that support the project. And further, uh, in the project, we also established foundations for the design of the GridFlex tool, where we used our knowledge in, of standards and data exchange protocols used by distribution and transmission system operators and aggregators. So finally, as we are approaching now, uh, the end of the project, uh, Blueprint is heavily involved in the explo exploitation of XFLEX tools. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just an impression of yourself, what, what would you say, what are the lessons learned uh, so far for you during the project and what are your next steps and general expectations for the results of your work in XFLEX? I think I can speak not just for myself, but also for others, is that uh, one key lesson that we learned is the importance of considering specific market conditions and different constraints when you approach implementing such a complex project. Uh, these can significantly impact visibility and scalability of a solution in real life implementation. Because we took into account technical characteristics of flexible assets in um, all of the demo sites early on, even with the disruption of supply chain during 2020 pandemic, as we actually implemented the project uh, through 2021 and uh, onwards, the project team was able to really adapt and adjust the solutions accordingly. And therefore we uh, managed to help ensure uh, on-time installation and testing. And uh, I would say this is a, this was really important uh, lesson, but another one uh, probably tied to the whole pandemic and lockdown uh, was the importance of collaboration and clear communication because XFLEX project brought together a di diverse group of partners with very different uh, areas of expertise. And it was essential that everyone worked closely together to achieve 
our project objectives. Um, we coordinated efforts as Blueprint early on when we were working on data exchange, and thus we made sure that the design and development of different tools does not happen in parallel silos. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did not repeat data and uh, process analysis every time. Um, I think this way the project team was um, able to overcome some challenges that arose along the way, as they do, and uh, achieve successful outcome, as we see now in the final stages of demonstration activities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have one remaining last question to you. What, what is your expected benefit and, and impact of your role? And, and what are your future plans in exploiting uh, your results and in general the results of x -Flex? Well, you know, as they say, smart people learn on mistakes and successes of others. <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, we work today uh, on projects with many DSOs from Central and Southeast Europe who are all preparing their roadmaps on um, already implementing flexibility platforms. And I think XFlex definitely establishes a good foundation to learn from. Um, I think it is clear that the integration of uh, distributed energy sources, storage, electric vehicle infrastructure and chargers and other flexibility assets um, in distribution grid is a very complex task. There's no silver bullet solution, but I cannot emphasize enough um, how important it is that these solutions that we develop can adapt to the local situation, considering profile of different users or asset owners and available infrastructure, data sources, and digital skills. And I believe that our role here uh, helped that these tools can be successfully scaled up in the real world. And, and uh, they do still today, um, I believe, as the results keep coming in, um, they show uh, how they improve energy efficiency, how they improve the renewables uptake, reduced emissions, and uh, security of supply that we are talking about, uh, I believe uh, one of the biggest takeaways from this project are the early developed tools for grid resilience during extreme weather conditions. I believe this is one that will be taken up um, uh, the most. Okay, Elena, thank you so much for your time and for joining today. Um, as already mentioned in all clips before, if you want to get more information about the project, please go to the project website via the link given below. Thanks for watching again and see you soon uh, for the last video with our coordinator HR in the very near future. Bye bye and thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye.